August 28, 1990, Ryan Sandberg of the Chicago Cubs becomes the first second baseman in history to collect 30 home runs in consecutive seasons. Sandberg hits his milestone 30th homer against the Houston Astros, helping the Cubs to a 5-2 win. Sandberg went on to hit 40 home runs that season, becoming only the third second baseman in history to do so. He scored 116 runs, drove in 100, was an all-star selection, won the Silver Slugger Award, and batted 306 all during the 1990 season. August 28, 1967, the Boston Red Sox signed free agent first baseman outfielder Ken Hawk Harrelson, who had been fired by the Kansas City A's for making critical remarks about owner Charlie Finley. Harrelson reportedly received a $75,000 bonus and salary package for 1967 and 68. Harrelson homered in his first Boston at bat, but he hit just 200 for the Red Sox in 1967. The next year, however, he was an all-star and led the American League with 109 RBI. Harrelson has become a colorful, outspoken announcer since his retirement as a player. Pray for Rain. August 28, 1951. The Braves break up their top shelf pitching duo of Warren Spahn and Johnny Sane by selling Sane to the Yankees for $50,000 and a young pitcher named Lou Burdett. It is another late season insurance measure for the New Yorkers, but it would come back to haunt them as Burdett would be the key pitcher when the Braves beat the Yankees in the 1957 World Series. He won games 2, 5, and 7, including back-to-back -back shutouts in games 5 and 7. Sane did pitch for three championship teams in New York, but only pitched 13.2 innings over those years and went 1-for-1 one one in the World Series. Burdett not only pitched more innings, but won more games in the 1957 series alone. That was August 28th, This Day in Baseball.